Good afternoon and welcome to the channel The Vaping Piper. Today's video is first of all a thank you uh, on a pipe that I received from my staff here in the office. Well, when I first uh, was talking about launching the, vape, the Vaping Piper um, coming off the Net Vapor channel, I'm still very much involved in that Vapor channel. When I've got something to review, I do review on the vaping scene, but lately I've been concentrating on the, this channel, the Vaping Piper. Um, so um, they sort of um, chipped in all, uh, I didn't know about this, and they surprised me with a beautiful Peterson pipe. And so first we'll look at that pipe, and here it is actually in front of me, and this is uh, the a Peterson Irish Harp series um, 999 I think it is 999 you can see it here and um, here's the harp beautiful pipe and this is a non-filtered pipe that I prefer 6 mil I can get away without a filter 9 mil is already becoming it's too airy but this is non-filtered um, and it's just a beautiful pipe it smokes well it looks good it's, it's the right proportion and the right shape of stem um, i just love the bowl beautiful beautiful grain anyway i did a close-up on this you'll see it better with all the spec so first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to them. Now, I showed this pipe in brief in one of my first videos when we talk about cleaning the pipe, how to clean the silver with ash. Um, I, will I will upload a video how to give it a thorough clean. Um, that'll come up shortly as well. I'm going to use this pipe as well. And I'll show you how to I use silver polish rather than tobacco ash. Yeah. Anyway, so the first section on this video would be a close-up on this pipe, but we'll finish it with a blend um, that I'm gonna try on this pipe for the first time, and this is the Rattery Old Gallery. Yeah, um, we're gonna talk about this one as well. Um, so, uh, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go down to the close-up of this gorgeous pipe that they bought me uh, and then we'll go to the garden and I'll smoke this blend yeah so it's a three-fold type of video I just want to say a huge thank you to the guys here um, it wasn't necessary but I'm, I love this pipe I enjoy it very much it, it's exactly the way I like it um, yeah I love this pipe love it beautiful beautiful pipe okay so uh, without further ado let's go down to the close-up and I'll see you in my garden smoking this blend right see you later well, let's have a close look at the Peterson classic Irish harp range sterling silver mounted series 999 right so we get in, in this nice gift box um, Peterson of Dublin handcrafted in Ireland so let's have a look at it this is the dust bag you're getting in um, yeah let's have a look voila um, yeah so let's have a good look at this well the length is 145 millimeter 145 millimeter it weighs 56 gram you'll see it actually on your screen while I'm talking about it um, bowl height 39 millimeters bowl width 44 millimeters uh, chamber depth 31 millimeters chamber width 21 millimeters stem material is acrylic but you can see the very nice different um, string stri uh, st you know 
um, effect. You can see it here in this. This is a lighter color, uh, sort of strands of, and it fits so well with the actual bowl. Um, yeah, very nice indeed. And you get the, the Peterson, the P symbol. Um, there's no filter in it, we'll open in a minute. Shape, uh, shape is Rhodesian. Finish smooth material, obviously, briar. Yeah, very nice indeed. But let's have a close look now on the band. So, as you can see, this is the harp symbol here. Peterson. Uh, very hard sterling silver. Yeah, and here you can see on the boulder marking. Peterson of Dublin Irish harp yeah very nice and if I turn around you'll see here the marking of the silver and 999 very nice this is perfect for me because it is not such a tall bowl but it's got the width so I can pack in quite a lot of tobacco in here um, and you can see it's treated so this will help for the carbon cake to build up fairly quick um, and let's now take the stem off obviously always twist it off never pull it off and it's a very snug fit and uh, here it is you can see the opening is sort of a bit higher up um yeah so if any moisture going down the mouthpiece it would not actually go into the bowl it will accumulate in the bottom of it this is very well fit on this um sterling um, band here so this is non-filtered um the airflow is a bit on the looser side um, so you need to pack the tobacco a bit more if you want a restricted airflow. Um, I like it very much. It's just the right, it's not too tight, not too airy. Perfect. Very nice pipe indeed. I like the cutting here as well, it's the design. Very light in your hand as well. Yeah. So, this is it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we'll bring it back on top. I'll pack up the pipe and we'll give it a smoke. And I'll give you my first experience of this pipe. Right, so I'll see you back on top. Right, today I'm going to smoke um, the Rattrays, Rattrays Old Gow Gary, Gary. Yeah. Um, fine tobacco made by hand. Old Gowry. So, someone recommended me to try this one. Um, this is a Virginia based Kentucky, Perique and Virginia. Now it comes in broken flake. So I mean it's you need to allow it to dry fairly an hour at least. But the smell oh, tangy, citrusy, floral sweetness to it knotty woody nearly like a chocolatey smell spice from maybe from the perique mm, smells divine my mouth is watering already from it <laughs> yes so um i'm smoking it on the peterson harp um 999 
first time I'm smoking this in this pipe, gorgeous stainless, uh, silver, um, sterling silver ring. This is by Peterson, obviously. Yeah, Peterson. So let's give this a light. Wow, it's good. Already I can tell. You need to allow it to dry long enough for it to burn well. I hope I left, I left it an hour. I hope I left it enough. So let me tell you a bit of um, information on it. Um, brand Rattery, 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 yeah. Um, blended by Cole Hayes, Cop and Co. Blend type Virginia based content Kentucky, Perique and Virginia. So expecting a bit of a spicy note um, sweet note from the Virginia This is quite, quite strong. I can feel straight away the kick. The airflow is just about right. I'm getting a very woody earthy dark fruit type of smoke notes to it the Kentucky is adding a lot of nuttiness woodiness earthiness and like a floral note The Perique is adding like a very nice spice, but this is a strong tobacco. It's not first thing in the morning. This is good after a meal. It's quite a strong tobacco. It's, I would say it's medium to full bodied. doesn't have no tongue bite it's not harsh I just feel it very intense as soon as the bowl is ignited properly it really burns well It's a sweet, spicy, sweetish, spicy, earthy, nutty. It's like you take a bit of spice, delicious spice of the Perique, add a tiny bit of sugar to it. The Virginia is adding like um, tangy, citrus nearly. Oh, 
now it's burning very well indeed the bowl is cool This is very nice. Ratcheries, I hope I'm spelling it right. Old Gary, Old Gary. But you need to leave it to dry, definitely. Um, this is broken flake, so it's got quite a lot of moisture in it. The Virginia and the Parique is a perfect combination. Now you would have thought that this is a fairly short pipe. I would get tongue bite. No, it's not harsh. It's non-aromatic. But it's a very nice aroma, tobacco aroma to it. No addings, the tobacco itself. Very nice. Hmm. I can taste the spice. It's like a um, citrus sweetness to it. And this n very nutty, earthy, nearly floral from the Kentucky. Very nice indeed. Wow. Very nice indeed. So, um, let's read you something here. Fine dark Virginia, Kentucky and a hint of Perique are ripened in the press for up to three months. Then cut and rubbed by hand. It burns very well, I must say. For a broken flake. I can't tell you the room note, but whatever I get whiff from the smoke, very nice. And it gives me in my mouth a very nice aftertaste. And I must tell you, this pipe is superb. Very nice pipe indeed. I was a bit concerned about the uh, airflow. But it's the perfect airflow. Short inhales, you know, short pulls really keeps the bowl going. Can't really use the breathing method when I do reviews. But when you do use the breathing method, it does intensify the flavors, but it'll take too long for the review. So when I stop recording, I do use the breathing method. So to sum this up, um, the Kentucky is giving me like a, nut, a nutty, woody, nearly a floral. The Perique is giving me a light spice, a sort of like a dried fruit, um, bit of a sweetness to it.
and the Virginia gives me like sort of a, ta a citrus, a tangy sweetness to it as well. So the floral of the Kentucky, the sweetness of the Virginia, and the spicy, bit sweet perique is a lovely, um, gives you a lovely aftertaste in your mouth. It's a shame to wash it down with something to drink. But whenever you smoke a pipe, you should always drink to eliminate tongue bite. Let's give this another. Very nice indeed. You know, the Peterson, the sweet Kalani that I, that I must probably watch now, the review, um, I like that a bit more. This is a bit too strong for me. I think this is suited for after um, a good meal, um, it's quite a punch to it. I think I'm nearing the end of the bowl here. Yeah. Okay, um, it's a lovely smoke, but it's just a bit strong. Um, a bit strong. The rat rays. Ratchery's old gauri, but it's superb flavors to it. All this combination with the spice, the sweetness, the citrus, earthy, nutty, nearly dried fruit type of sweetness to it adds a lot to the overall smoke. Uh, but I think I'm gonna keep this tobacco for um, when I need a, you know, a heavier smoke some kind of beverage it's probably in the evening yeah no I think it's really nearly gone yeah that was quick okay um, I would love to hear your views if you um, ever smoked the Rattray's old Gary uh, and I'd love to hear your feedback on it did I describe it the way you taste it? Mm. I've got this lovely full-bodied tobacco flavors in my mouth now. Lovely. Okay, um, until the next time, take care. Bye-bye for now.